All right, guys, we're back at it. We're gonna grab my favorite hammer tin and we are gonna fish with a plastic today. Midday, summer, summer fun. We're gonna put big fish in the boat. I cannot wait. What plastic when he go? Yeah, we're gonna go with this guy. This guy was hot last time, so we're gonna give her a ripped potato chip and uh, put it on that new black asteroid sniping braid. And we've got a new reel on the on the pole. We'll talk about that today as well. But ultimately, today is all about midday summer fishing and getting them to bite. Let's do it. We've got some new reels gonna, are going to be introduced this coming uh, show season. And today we are trying out the last prototype. All black, baby. Going with one slight size larger. Look at that pile. That is a big freaking pile. Screen is looking good. Haven't fished in a while, guys. I tell you, taking a little summertime off. Everybody's doing that, right? Everybody's enjoying their summer. So that's what the agenda is. And we're just now getting back out here after our big successful fish fry. Good slab. Yeah, baby. There it is, first fish of the day, first fish of the episode. Having a great day, midday. Look at it, it's 228, water temperature 83 degrees. Woo, baby. So I hope everybody uh, enjoyed their 4th of July. That's a beautiful fish. That's just a beautiful fish, you gotta love it. We're gonna let him go. We're done keeping fish for the fish fry. The what I do for fish fries is I typically always keep fish in the winter time. I like winter fish, I like them cold. I think most people would agree with me. I think that's the, that's the time if I'm gonna keep fish, that's what I'm gonna keep for whatever fish fry I plan the following year. Um, we're midday, we're roughly around 85 degrees. Beautiful day, crispy day, not too humid. Got my wind rider on and obviously just out here having fun. No, nothing, uh, no agenda today, just chilling out, summer. And uh, it's been a while, haven't been on the water in a while. Uh, got the Hammer Tim back out. We're excited about the uh, tournament trail that's coming up. You know, don't forget about all the great products. I know this is the time of year that everybody's out there uh, hanging out with their families and doing other things. But, you know, if you want good deals, look at Sniping Braid. Look at Three Pound Fishing. I even got one of the, you know, these guys are fun. I can tell you right now, these guys, it's kind of funny how things happen. But the Hair Jig Let's Go Fishing Pack has been freaking awesome. So we'll put more fish on the boat, trying out these new reels. Uh, those will be available during the shows in the uh, in the springtime, not in the springtime, but actually the wintertime. Those will be out there. Those will kind of be our, our show specials and hope to meet a bunch of you guys. We're going to do a lot of shows this year. Just vertical fishing. They can't stand it. They got eventually got to hit it. Now I'm fishing with a 132nd ounce jig, number seven split shot and just my standard shad style bait right there. Now what makes these jigs really cool is that their bait keeper is on the back side so you don't stab yourself when you're putting your bait on. It also keeps them on there very nicely. I'm gonna put it on backwards right here just because I wanna get a fresh bite into it. But that's the what we're looking for right there. I always like the fact that plastic stays up there right on the head. And I've got my number seven split shot roughly around 18 inches above the jig. There we go. Nice little eater. 
Now we're fishing these piles, keeping them out roughly around 10 feet. You can see this guy right here at 32. So sometimes I will go for this pile here and then bring it into this guy in case nothing comes off of that pile right there. But that's that's a dual pile deal right there. I love it. I love this little this little tight pile of fish right there. That's the one I would be targeting. I did want to show you guys one thing, and that is that I did break my, my crappie break skin. Yes, I broke my crappie breaks again. Um, but PTG was awesome, man. They freaking sent me a new bracket and power poles was awesome as well. I can't say enough good things about power poles. Their customer service is fantastic. They sent me a new knuckle. They sent me a new spike. Um, yeah, those two companies right there take care of you. Totally my fault too. I left them down. I, just can't, I can't stop letting them down and just taking off. It just happens. If you're thinking about other things, boom, that's how it happens. So customer service will always be a, a big thing and power poles and ptg got it no doubt about it all right guys that's gonna end it. it's gonna be a short one today there's just so many wreck boats out here it's crazy but i enjoyed it regardless i'll come back out in the evening or something but uh please do me a favor subscribe and share the channel uh i know we're all busy this this summer and we've got a maybe a couple weeks left three four weeks left before kids go back to school and all that good stuff but fall fishing is just around the corner so if you're thinking about a guide trip don't hesitate give me a holler i've got a lot of availability in the fall time and uh, we're gonna put a lot of slabs in the boat when that water temperature starts to reduce starts to go down that bite just starts to heat up it's awesome have a great one guys